I've, I hope I hope this is working. Testing, testing, one, two, three, four. Test one, two. Test one, two. How is the sound? How is the sound? How is the sound? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Anyone out there? Zipper is here. Should be here on YouTube and Twitch. Hopefully you can hear me. Test one, two, three, four, five, six. Test one, two, three, four, oh, I can five, hear, six. I can hear myself. Test, test, test. Okay. Hello, everybody. Hello, everyone. We are going to make some popcorn. This thing is here. Okay. So I didn't realize people, I didn't, my kitchen is not totally clean because I didn't know I was going to have guests in my kitchen tonight, but I do. Okay. So we have... Nostalgia Air, Red Hot, Retro Air, Hot Air Popcorn Maker. The links to all this stuff is in the chat. Is in the uh, YouTube video description. Has the links in it. Look in the video description. Uh, no, there's like a bunch of stuff all over that you can't see. So here's this. We got to open this thing. And then we got to rinse these out. We got to rinse these out. Let's rinse these out. These awesome popcorn buckets. And I think we're going to make the, um, the Black Jewel Crimson Popcorn. Let's try this. It's pretty humid here right now. Dove Malibu is here. Cases, I'm glad you can't see my uh, kitchen. I got my wireless mic on, so you should be able to hear me pretty well, even if I'm turned around. Testing, testing. Can you hear me? I'm going to rinse out. The first thing we need to do is wash out the popcorn buckets. So I'm going to wash out the popcorn buckets, okay? Give them a good rinse. Get a little soap. Love, love, love the Dawn dispenser where you squeeze it out and it comes out the bottom. So you don't have, like when you pour, the, if you have the dishwa the normal dishwashing detergent container, you pour it and then it gets all gunky on the top. This does not get gunky because you just you squeeze it and it comes out the bottom. So get yourself a Dawn Easy Squeeze. Uh, dispenser. Okay, I am just rinsing out the popcorn bucket, giving it a rinse with some soapy water. I think this one is clean. This one is clean. And now I just have to do the other bucket with soapy water. We'll rinse and clean this one. See, I'm going to squeeze a little detergent in there. Just squeeze a little. You just squeeze a little. Okay, I am just rinsing out the other popcorn bucket so we can use it. Very excited to use this. I think that one's good. Get some more water on it. This is really exciting, guys. I am very excited to have some popcorn right now. Let's have, let's make some popcorn. We got our popcorn buckets rinsed. Done. 
done. Uh, okay, Tess, hopefully you could, could you hear when I was, when I was pouring the water? Could you hear me? Because I have the wireless microphone on. Let's see. I'm listening right now. With soapy water. We'll rinse yeah, that worked one. great. You could hear me even though the water was on. How about that, guys? How about that? Hickey bum says we could hear. Tony Domati is here. Busy Cat said heard every sound. So these are great. These are the amazing wireless mics from DJI mic, wireless mic. Very good. Hey, Athletics is back. I'm glad. It sounds like, is the fire over, Athletics? The grass fire? I love salt on my popcorn. Okay, so uh, now we have to open this thing up. Again, the link to this is in the YouTube video description. You can find it there. It's an Amazon associate I, can hear, I earn from qualifying purchase. If the mods want, they could uh, cut and paste the links if they feel like it. They don't. Hey, thanks to all of our moderators. Hey, Dodger Blue is here. Thanks to all of our mods. Really appreciate it. Thank you. So let's see how quickly we can get this thing going, this retro hot air popper. I got to wash this thing out too. Here is the retro. Kay is making popcorn right now. Kay is also modding. Um, here's the retro hot, wow, this thing looks fun. Retro hot air popcorn popper. Jeez, that's, that, that, that's pretty un unstable there. I think we're all good though. Oops, that was almost, a, that was almost a quick end to the stream. No, it didn't broke, it didn't break. It, it's, 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 it's not, it's meant to be in multiple pieces. Hang on. One moment, please. Okay, got all this stuff done. Hey, thanks, Crypto King. Have I ever had popcorn with M&Ms? It sounds great. These days, I don't really have sweets, though I can't because of my diet, Crypto King. My body is, uh, my very slow metabolism would not do well with the M&Ms. That sounds awesome, though. Thanks, Crypto King. Corey B's having some ice cream. That sounds great. Uh, okay, so the stream, you should be watching at 1080. 1080p. Make sure you're watching at 1080p for the best picture. Ten eighty p. Hey, thanks so much to Donna Smith. Thanks, Donna Smith, for the sticker. Okay, so we got this is the hot air part. This is the this is the base. This is the base. Dove Malba used to have a hot dog cart with a popcorn maker built in. Wow, that sounds awesome. Okay, so and then we have the base, and then we have it's three pieces. It's the base, and then it's this part which goes there, and then we have uh, the third part on top. There you go, that's the whole thing right there. That's the whole thing. It says, fill the amount of kernels to cover up the textured area on the kernel cap. Jeez, okay. That's all it says. Where is the kernel cap? Do not fill popcorn past fill line. What is the fill line? It doesn't make any sense. This is really confusing. What is that of? What is that? Oh, it says that you fill it. I got it. So you put the popcorn in this thing, and there's a line that goes around this thing. It's kind of hard to see here, but there's a little line here. Hey, thanks, Eddie Smith. So good to see Eddie Smith. Eddie, what's the latest? What's going on? Hope Eddie is feeling better. 
So I got to put popcorn in here, but it doesn't go past this line right here. Then I pour this in the thing. Okay, that's simple enough. Darren liked the proper popper. I did too. Um, but we're, I want to try this out. All right, so I'm, I'm going to rinse off this piece. I got to rinse off this piece, guys, because the popcorn is going to touch this piece. So let's just do a quick rinse and cleaning of this part of the popcorn maker, the lid. I'm going to clean off the lid. Done. The lid is clean. There's only one more piece I have to clean. Brenda says, I bet it comes out good. There's only one more piece I have to clean after this piece. Eddie is still recovering. Eddie, hope you feel better. April says, Eddie, when is your next video? I, I miss Eddie's videos. Hopefully as he recovers, he can start making them again. Eddie was having some kidney issues and a hip issue. Let's hope he continues recovering. This is the last piece I need to rinse off. Glad I didn't break this thing. Uh, all right, hold on. All right. Take some, just some rinse. I think I need a little more soap. Okay, I'm just rinsing this thing off. Good, some soapy water, rinse, 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 wipe, wipe, wipe. Getting, wiping it down. We're wiping, we're wiping down this piece. Okay, I think that's good. I'm just gonna start rinsing it. Rinse, rinse, rinse. I think we're ready to go. I think we're ready to go. I think that's everything. I think I'm not going to rinse the inside of in here. <laughs> I'm not going to rinse the inside of the popcorn machine. I don't think. <laughs> I don't think the water is necessarily good for that inside of that thing. So I'm just going to put the popcorn in there. What do you think, guys? Eddie, uh, uh, I think Athletics said big grass fire by my house. They heard they have arrested two people for arson. Wow. Glad Randy's okay. Rinse the inside of it? I could maybe rinse it with like a paper towel or something. Maybe a paper towel. Just put something down there. Then I'll have to wipe it out. Just wipe it. Wipe it with a paper towel. That's what I'm going to do. I'm wiping down the inside with a paper towel. It's kind of hard. Yep, I'm getting in the inside here with a paper towel. It's a good idea. I understand that. If there's any gunk on there, we'll get it off. Okay, I wiped down the inside. I gotta clean it off the inside to get it a little dry. I think we're good. 
I think we're good. Yeah, it's not plugged in right now. I just want to wipe it a little bit more. Okay, I think we're ready to go. I think we're ready to go. Here we go, guys. So now what we're going to do is we are going to put the popcorn in here, right? Popcorn goes in here. Then we dump the popcorn in there. Okay, and then we're going to put this right here. These I need to dry out. This is very exciting. I am very exciting. Very excited right now. Uh, Linda Gordon says the L of I Vegas Spear Fear is a big basketball. She says it's very exciting. That's awesome. The Vegas Fear looks very cool. Okay. Then will the plug reach over here? Oh, okay, so it's now plugged in. If you want to turn it on, is there an on button? Oh, I see, there's an on button over here. Okay, guys, here goes nothing. Oh, I gotta wipe off this part too. Because the popcorn could hit that stuff. All the top here should be wiped off. You know what I'm saying? Gotta clean this off. All right, now I think we're good. So, the corn is about to be popped. We're gonna try this black jewel Crimson popcorn, but it's going to be white when it pops. Here we go. Pearl is here. Busy Cat is here. Again, hope Eddie feels better soon. I am excited. I will be putting salt on this. I'm running out of salt here. i got to buy some more salt. Jacob Enders loves popcorn. All right, we're putting the popcorn in here. We got to fill it up to the line, but no farther. Okay, a little more. It says do not fill above the line. Okay, I think that's good. That's good. Okay, there's the popcorn right there. You guys can see it, the red popcorn, crimson popcorn. We're going to pour the popcorn in the machine. Oopsie. Well, I didn't do a very good job of pouring. We put this on. Now, here's this. We put this on. Where does the lid go? Back here? If I've done this right, if I have done this right, I don't know that it's too much. I mean, it was dough of Malibu. It was right up to that line. It said you need to put it up to the line, but no further. So I hope it's not too much. We'll see. So here's what's going on right now. You guys can see this retro popcorn maker. Um, I'm assuming I can put the bucket there because there's going to be hot air coming out of there. Is the hot air going to affect the bucket? Should I put like a metal bowl instead of the bucket and pour it into the bucket? I don't, I, I, maybe that, the spheres in Las Vegas, I feel like maybe I should not use that bucket because it's a plastic bucket and the hot air could affect it. Maybe I should get my metal. There, we'll do that. Oh, thanks, Sander M. Sander M says, welcome to the Slickner Cooking Channel. I didn't get my whole chef's hat and everything for this. 
I'm gonna I'm gonna use the metal and then I'll pour the metal stuff into the popcorn bucket. I'll pour it from the metal into the popcorn bucket. How does that sound? All right, hang on. I also want to make sure there's no big news while before I do this. No one's saying there's big news. That's encouraging. Hang on one moment here. One moment. Okay, here we go. Becky says, I haven't used an air popper in 25 years. Looking forward to seeing how well it works. Again, the link to the popcorn itself, to the buckets, to the retro air popper are all in the YouTube chat. A uh, YouTube video description. That's where the links to all these things are. Uh, okay, here we go. I'm going to turn, I hope this works. I'm going to turn the switch on and then the popcorn's going to move around in that air popper and eventually it's going to start popping into here. Are you ready? Are you guys ready? Here we go. I hope this works. On three. One, two, three. Here we go. Maybe we can zoom in. Oh, it's not letting me zoom, I think, because I'm, I'm, I'm doing it this way. Uh, well, you guys can see it now. Yeah, uh, air poppers can be loud. No popping yet. It is April Coco claims it is working. It should be heating up. Let's see what happens. I heard a pop. Breaking news, I heard a pop. I'm going to try a couple different seasonings, Penny Lynn. Dodger Blue says breaking. It's starting. Sickness says uh, we have some seasoning. Oh, we're seeing popcorn. We're seeing breaking news. We're seeing popcorn. Breaking news, we're seeing popcorn. Breaking news, we're seeing popcorn. A couple kernels came out too. Pops pretty fast. Whoa. Whoa. Wow, that pop, that, that, that was pretty fast. Could someone time out that person in Twitch? That would be awesome, thank you. It's really, this, this kind of popcorn has small holes. Maybe this popcorn pops faster. That was really fast. Look at all this. Look at all this. I think that might be it. Probably get a few extra pops after this. It's really good. It looks really good. Wow, that was really fast. I think th this popcorn is holeless popcorn, which has like a softer hulls and it's smaller kernels. So maybe this pops faster. This black jewel, that popped really fast. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my popcorn bucket. Let me show you what the popcorn looks like. This red, crim it's a crimson popcorn, but here's what it looks like. Mmm. Can we see the amount that didn't pop? Yes. That did, there's very there's a few kernels down there that did not pop, but most of that is popcorn. So I'll have to deal with that after. Athletics is sharing is caring. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of the popcorn out and put some salt on it, and then we'll try some of those seasonings on it too. I kind of want to just pour it all in here. Yeah, that's not going to work. Got to use my hand. This bucket is so big. <laughs> it's pretty. So I'm going to put. Some, I'm going to start by putting some salt on it. Just some salt, and see how that tastes. Just salt first. Okay, 
just salt. Let's try it. It's really good. Nice. No oil on this popcorn. I just made it Ooh, there. Oops, I gotta grab a drink of water too. Mmm. That's good. We're gonna try some of those seasonings out. I need a little more salt on it. Mmm. 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 Good popcorn. Hold on. All right, we're gonna try some of those some of those funky seasonings. Hang on. It's seasonings time. Guys, I'm going to get the seasonings. You can hear me because I have my wireless mic on. I'm going into the other room to get these seasonings. We're gonna try them all right now. Maybe I'll get like a plate for these seasonings. Maybe I'll get out a plate or a bowl. So first we have these four of these different types of seasonings uh, by Colonel Seasons. So I think what I'll do is I'll get like a plate out and I'm gonna put some popcorn on the plate. Mm -hmm. By the way, this was already here, I believe. <laughs> I can't believe that that was just done. I think I'll have to go back and see. This, this kitchen has a lot of, is very old. I believe this was already here because this thing did not get that hot. But I'll have to check it. I, I, I wonder if that actually happened. This is a very old kitchen. I can go, I'm going to go back and look. Was that actually not there? <laughs> that pot was, the pot just had uh, popcorn in it. Yes, it was. I can actually see it. I can see that indentation already there. I just went back and I could actually see it when I put the, when, before I put the uh, bowl down, it was there. Look, right there. You can see it right there. See the round circle there? See the circle? It's already there. Yeah, that was part of the kitchen before, before I moved in. Anyways, all right, let me, let's try some of these seasonings here. It's time for the seasonings. Uh, Doe of Malibu is here. Cole says, I used that one before and it was flavorless. You, oh, you mean like the, the seasoning. We'll try the seasoning. Quentin from Astoria is here. Pam Turner is here. Alibaba says, everything is better with butter. All right, let's try this seasoning. Let's try this one. This is the butter one. We'll put a little on the plate and we'll... Oh, thanks. Exploring with these weenos. Who says, hi from Seattle. Thanks for making my wife and my evening more fun. Too much drama in the world and you have nothing to watch on Netflix. See so you win. Hey, thanks. Exploring with the Zuinos. Yeah, so if you've never seen the channel, I have a news channel where we cover serious news called The Gender Free TV. But this is the channel where we just kind of mess around and don't cover serious news. So I appreciate you being with us, you and your wife. We just finished another stream on this channel where I talked about my vacation, well, my break, where I went to my girlfriend's family's family reunion last week. And we showed pictures. That was the one we just did. All right, so this is the, um, this is like a yellow powder. The uh, butter popcorn seasoning. We'll see how this one is by kernel seasons. How is this one going to be? I usually don't have popcorn seasoning, but I'll try it. I don't know that I'm tasting much of a difference. I'm not tasting so much of a difference with that yellow one. Maybe I'm not putting enough on, but I am rubbing the popcorn in it. Lick the popcorn first. All right, that has a lot on it. Oh, that's a difference. That is a difference. It's not, it's not that strong a flavor.
Yeah, I can see it's, it's kind of buttery. It's pretty subtle. Okay, next one up, white cheddar. Uh, Caffeine Misfits says, I don't like the yellow one either. All right, well, this next one is called white cheddar. So we're going to try the white cheddar now. Oh, this seems to have a stronger smell. This one seems to have a stronger smell. Pearl says, seasoning does not stick to the popcorn. This one is indeed white. It's the white one right there. Here we go. Oh, that is a stronger taste. It's kind of a cheesy taste. If you like cheddar popcorn, you might like that, uh, that white cheddar seasoning. Quentin says white cheddar is yummy yum. Okay, so that one is certainly stronger than the butter. The third one, somebody who liked this one, is the nacho cheddar popcorn seasoning. Hey, can one of the mods like cut and paste? I think I put the seasoning link in the, uh, in the description, the YouTube description. I put, I put the links to everything in the YouTube description, to the popcorn bucket, to the type of popcorn, to the seasoning in the popcorn maker. It's all in the YouTube description. As an Amazon associate, I am from qualifying purchases. So go look at the YouTube description to see all the links. This is nacho cheddar seasoning. How will this one be? It's a different color. It's orange. Hannikin likes chili powder and sugar on popcorn. Also, tahini seasoning. Mama Yoli is here. All right, here we go. The nacho cheese. I got a bunch on here. Ooh, that's got a little kick to it. That's not bad. That nacho cheese one is not bad. Oh, thanks, Sarah, for posting the link. Sarah, can you post it in Twitch, too? Is that possible? I don't know if it is. Thank you, Sarah. The wireless guy is here on Twitch. Oh, she posted on Twitch. Oh, that's awesome. Thank you. The wireless guy cooks popcorn and melted sugar. Um, this nacho one is... Uh, mm, it's got a little spicy kick. I think that's my favorite one so far. The nacho cheddar. And then the last one that MJ sent. Did MJ even make this? Well, MJ, will, hopefully MJ will watch the stream after. I don't know if MJ is here because she sent all this stuff. Old Bay, Busy Cat says. Ooh, this is garlic parmesan. I don't know if this is going to be up my alley. Garlic parmesan. Maybe some of you, it's up more up. You should pray. I, I don't want, oh, MJ says you should spray the popcorn with oil first. I could do that, MJ. Maybe I'll try it right now. MJ, you might have sent me this with the, with the olive oil. So we'll, we'll t we can do a test. I'll take some popcorn and I'll put it on the plate. I think MJ sent me some. I think MJ might have sent me this, but a couple people sent me oil sprayers. There's another one I, I still got to uh, clean and use. Anyways. Okay. So I sprayed some oil on the popcorn, some olive oil. And now I'm going to dip... Now I'm going to pour the garlic parmesan. Ew. I don't even know how that's supposed to taste, the garlic parmesan. It's this one right here. So there's oil on the popcorn. Should pick up the garlic parmesan. I don't know how, what this is going to taste like. Oh. It tastes kind of garlicky. Yeah, with that oil, it like picks up. There's oil on this now. See, there's oil. So it kind of picks up the, uh, the flavor more. Oh, and Athletics says, use the buttery seasoning I got you. I'll see if I can find it, Athletics. Um, I found one of them, Athletics. I got to dig around in here. I have wood-fired garlic as handy. I have that one handy, wood-fired garlic. Can I try the wood-fired garlic one? Uh, I have the buttery steakhouse. Uh, Randy wants me to try the buttery steakhouse rub. Okay, 
I'm rubbing it in the oil. Then there's the buttery steakhouse rub. I'm going to rub it in the buttery steakhouse rub. Get some of that steakhouse rub on. Buttery steakhouse rub. Here we go. Ooh. I've never done that before. That actually tastes nice, Randy. That tastes nice. I used some of Randy's Kinder's Buttery Steakhouse Rub, which is like, you know, a salty, seasony kind of thing you'd put on meat. And you put it on the popcorn. Wow. Well, that's delightful. Well, what, how fun is this? So fun. Where is my, where is my popcorn bucket? This is great. I haven't, I haven't made popcorn in a while. Anyways, so, and then this crimson popcorn is very white, but I like it. No oil on this unless I spray it on. Mm, oh, that's really good. I'm going to stop myself. I'm going to get addicted. That's the Black Jewel Crimson Popcorn. Wow. So this was wonderful. We made popcorn. We tried the popcorn seasonings. We're eating out of the popcorn bucket that MJ sent me. MJ sent me the seasonings in the bucket and the popcorn. And the Nostalgia Retro Popcorn Maker. Air popper. You don't have to use oil. You just use air. Wow. Hold on. I'm, I'm focusing too much on the popcorn, not on the stream. The athletics, I have liked the Kinder stuff. I'm, the one I think I like the best of the ones you sent me is like the uh, the blend. Where is it here? I, I have the garlic one here. I'm trying. The, I think I mentioned it on the air to you, Randy. The one, the Kinder's one I like the best is the something blend. I'll have to try to dig it up here somewhere. It's somewhere here. You probably remember the name of it, though, Randy. Something, is it Butcher's Blend? I forget. Something Blend. It's the one you said you like the best. I sometimes use it on my chicken and stuff. Anyways. Wow, it's really hot here. All right, I'm gonna have to like, I, I think I'm gonna have to take the, take the rest of what's in, in, what's in the bowl and just get rid of it because I would want to eat all of this. This is so delightful. Butcher's All Purpose Blend, yeah, that one's good. I've used that multiple times. This is fun. This, this, this. MJ, MJ says, thank you. Glad you like the popcorn and the seasonings. I love them. It's so fun. What a nice way to end our evening. Right, I'm going to have to restrain myself. I'm going to sit here and just get addicted to this popcorn. Just with just air popped. Mm. Okay. I got to stop. I got to stop myself for now. This is going to be a problem. This is getting very problematic, guys. Okay. So this was awesome. So, thank you for joining me. Yeah, it's air pop. So that's not, it doesn't have a lot, of, I mean, it has no oil on it. It's just, it's, just, it's just air pop popcorn. But I put a little oil in some of this, in some of the seasonings on it too. Uh, Gossamer has been lurking. Yeah, ESD says time to clean up. I got to clean up in the last stream too. Yeah, it is a fast, tasty snack. That popcorn went, re made really, you can make it really fast in that uh, hot air popper. So really cool. All right. Well, guys, we're going to wrap this up stream. It's late. It's almost midnight. It's midnight. It actually is midnight right now. It is literally midnight. Um, so I really appreciate you joining me for the previous stream. If you didn't see the previous stream, we just did a three-hour stream before this. We talked about all kinds of things. We opened some of this stuff up. We talked about my break I took this week in North Carolina. Do not give me subs. Let's catch you next time. Yeah, breaking news, it is midnight. So I really appreciate you guys joining me for a live popcorn stream here in the kitchen. This is, yeah, this was, this was fun, as Linda says. It's fun and we learn stuff. Thanks to our moderators. I know, who is moderating? Linda, Sarah. Identify yourselves who are moderating, because I was reading the chat as it flew by. Hey, Daisy Hernandez, Hernandez Hermonica was here. 
uh, Cynthia was here. Oil popcorn next time. I've done oil popcorn. I'm trying to go a little less on the oil these days. I love the oil popcorn, but it's nice to have the air, the air alternative. April Coco was here. Kay Body was moderating. Raven Riley was moderating. Rusty G. I didn't see Rusty G. Good to see you, Rusty G. As well. Thanks to all of our moderators. Daniel was lurking over there. Thanks to everybody who's been watching on Twitch as well. Um, let's see if I can see some people over there on Twitch. Yeah, I, w I, was, I was focusing on making the popcorn, so I didn't see everybody in the chat. I saw some people. Ronald Kane was here. Hey, Ronald. Where is... Let's see here. Busy Cat was here. MJ, thank you again so much, MJ. Hey, we got some viewers over there on uh, Twitch. People like uh, Aaliyah. L O one Ella, Commander Root, Foxy Ali, my Florida, just to name a few. Sentient Cannabis, Stunned in the North. Thanks to all of our Twitch viewers. And of course, our YouTube viewers. Pearl Polanski and our members. Pearl Polanski said, you made me buy an air popper. Yeah, I used to have an air popper, and I, I didn't have one now, and now I have one, which is great. But a nice thing about an air popper is if you don't want the oil. I mean, oil is great on popcorn, but sometimes you might not want it. Maybe it's a little heavy. Maybe you're trying to keep your calories down or whatever. Air popper, you literally just throw the popcorn in the popcorn, and it just pops it with air. It has nothing on it. So it's pretty, it's, uh, it's certainly less, has less stuff on it than when you pop, pop it with oil. Oil's good, though, but uh, it's a nice alternative to have, and it's very fast, very fast and easy. I used to use an ear popper for years, so that's a, that's a nice thing. If you like popcorn, it's a cool thing to have. It's really easy. Uh, let me know how you like it. Belinda says, I like how that ear popper dispenses the popcorn. Castro, thanks for being here. Pearl Polanski will put butter on the top. Yeah, sometimes people will put... Some of the air poppers have a place you can like melt butter on the top of it, I think. But you can also just, you can put whatever you want on it when it's done, of course. Uh, Georgina says, air popper is fast and simple cleanup too. Me mom was here. Good night from the LLL. I don't know what the LLL stands for. Thanks again, MJ. This was really fun. Having a couple more pieces of popcorn. Ferris was here. All right, guys. King Loso, thanks for watching. Marzell, Theodore Johnson, Cole, Becky. All right. I got a ton of stuff to clean up. I got to do chapters for the last stream. Me Mom was here. Thank you, guys. I, hey, I'm glad this microphone worked. Great to have the wireless mic for the cooking streams. It's a big help with the wireless mic. Really helps things. Look, I can turn around and you can just hear me. You can hear me even though I'm turned around. It's amazing. You can hear me, you can hear me even though I'm turned around. Because I am wearing the wireless mic. The DJI mic, it's great. Great for the outdoors. Great for the cooking streams. It's really great. Linda sent a picture. I don't know if I'll get it, Linda. I don't know if I'll get it. I haven't been checking. Where did you send it, Linda? No, oh, here it is. Oh, Linda can see the stream. See the... Linda can see the, there is the, the sphere in Las Vegas that looks like a basketball right now. She can see it from her place. Very cool, Linda. You're right there, Linda, huh? You can see it there. It's really neat. Neat view from Linda. She is right there, I guess. Hey, Derek says, enjoy your popcorn. Hey, Derek, Derek sent a picture of him and his wife. Look, it's Mr. and Mrs. One Way Street. What a lovely picture. They say, enjoy your popcorn. Yay. Oh, they're watching the fight. They're watching a fight. Nice picture from One Way Street. Mr. and Mrs. One Way Street. Oh, I missed this. Kimberly Barr got some Icelandic. She says, uh, my friend and I bought two Icelandic horses. Wow. 
That's pretty cool. I missed that last stream. That's from Kimberly Barr. Wow, that's amazing. Really nice. All right. We're going to wrap this up. We are wrapping it up. Guys, you have been watching our live popcorn stream. Linda is right there. Linda, that's really cool that you're so close to the, uh, so close to the sphere, Linda. That's really neat. Wow. Cool. All right, guys. Linda Belk was moderating, by the way, in addition to other BZ was moderating. Thank you. All right, guys, we're wrapping it up. It is, it is after midnight. This has been really fun. MJ, thanks for all the popcorn paraphernalia. Thanks to you guys all for watching. Thanks to the mods. Thanks to everybody who donated. So nice of you guys. Uh, thanks for watching on Twitch. Thanks for watching on, on Twitter. On Twitter. On YouTube. I am back in town. More streams to come. We will be doing more live streams. Looking right here, right? Right there. Right there. All right. Hey, guys, thanks again. Um, MSU Kiwi's going back. Uh, MSU Kiwi says, Marzell, back to sewing you go. Everybody go back to doing what you were doing. Exactly. Thank you for joining. All right, guys, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. I'm going to clean this stuff up, and uh, we'll see you very, very soon.